problems of quality control in higher education. The system of higher education seems to be in a state of near crisis due to uncontrolled and unplanned expansion, weakening of student motivation, slacking of student discipline, that is, indiscipline among students, and lack of relevance. There has been a fall in the standards and that rapid expansion has resulted in lowering quality. There is a wide gap between standards of higher education in India and those in the advanced countries. The quality is not adequate for our present needs and future requirements. Criteria for evaluating standards. Kothari Commission 1964 to 66 has given three interrelated criteria for evaluating standards of higher education. Number first, adequacy. The standards of higher education should be adequate in relation to tasks for which they are intended. Number second, dynamism. The standards of higher education should be dynamic and keep on rising with demands for the higher level of knowledge, skills, or character which a modern society makes. Number third is internationally comparable. The standards of higher education should be internationally comparable at least in those key sectors where such comparison is important. Judged on the basis of these criteria, the standards of higher education in India are far from satisfactory. The following are some suggestions for improving the standards of university education. Number first is better academic standards in schools and colleges. Teaching at the school level should be made more effective. Detailed study should be taken at plus two stage. The students should be made to know and work for long hours to cope with the needs of high standards. Inspiration and guidance must form an essential feature of teaching at plus two stage. University must ensure better academic standards in schools and colleges. This can be possible only if universities initiate refresher courses and summer initiatives, summer institutes for school and college teachers. It will help universities to get suitable entrants. Number second, better staff and host Hostel facilities, better and qualified staff, accommodation and equipment and hostel facilities should be made available in colleges and universities. Number third, increasing number of working days. Each college and university must ensure 180 working days exclusive of examination days in the academic session. Academic session should be started as scheduled and requisite number of working days should be made obligatory for eligibility to set in an examination. To sit in an examination. Besides, the loss of working days due to strikes should be made good by extra classes. In addition, the number of casual holidays be curtailed. Number four, improving standard of education. The following are some of the suggestions for improving standard of education. Number first, maintaining coordination in teaching work. Number second, providing standard textbooks. Number third, reducing teacher taught ratio by restricting the number of students in a class and by appointing more teachers. Number four, encouraging teachers to have up to date knowledge. Number fifth, providing adequate lab libraries and laboratories. Number six, increasing personal touch and interest between the teacher and the taught. Number fifth, tutorial and seminars. Tutorials and seminars are excellent means of improving standards. They should form an essential part of teaching at university level. Attendance in tutorials and seminars should be an essential as in regular classrooms. Number six, well-equipped libraries and laboratories. Libraries and laboratories should be well-equipped equi with latest research-oriented journals, old manuscripts in, in as much number as possible, and also with latest publications. These should be properly displayed and early students for consultation. Earmarked. For library laboratories also should be well-equipped. Sufficient capital and recurring grant should be made available for laboratories. Number seven, improvement in research. Research must be conducted and its level must be improved. Research guidance should be of high standing and caliber. The students should be research minded. Financial difficulties should not stand in the way of research. Liberal grants and stipends should be available for research. Number eight, improvement in curriculum. Reforms in curriculum are needed to improve the standards of higher education. The following suggestions are given for reforming the curriculum. Number first, related to socio-economic conditions. The courses should be directly related to socio-economic conditions in the country. Number second, modernization of courses the courses of study should be revived and modernized number third uniform courses an attempt should be made to have uniform courses of study throughout the country there is an urgent need to evolve a uniform pattern of pattern of structure of education in various courses this would facilitate the mobility of students who seek admission to other universities number four diversification and employment oriented courses there is a pressing need for diversified and employment oriented courses number nine is Improvement in methods of teaching. The following suggestions are given below. Guided reading and discussion method. Under the existing system, there is an emphasis on formal lectures. The lecture method should be used most sparingly. Number second, round table discussion. Classroom lectures should change into round table discussions with a view to ensuring a two-way participation in instruction. Number third, assignments. Individual and group assignments should be given evaluated and discussed frequently to provide help for better learning. The practice of dictating notes which encourages cramming should be dispensed with and lectures should be carefully planned and coordinated. Cyclostyled synopsis of lectures and suggestions for further reading should be encouraged. The staff-student ratio in many university departments or colleges is highly unsatisfactory and needs improvement. 
نمبر ٹین ریفارمز ان ایگزامنیشن ریفارمیشن ان ایگزامنیشن کنڈکٹ اینڈ ایوالویشن ول آلسو امپروو دا اسٹینڈرڈس آف ہائر ایجوکیشن ان دا کنٹری نمبر فسٹ دا دا سسٹم آف ایگزامنیشن شوڈ بی ماڈیفائڈ سو ایز ٹو ڈسکوریج سلیکٹو سٹیڈی نمبر سیکنڈ ایوالویشن آف اسٹوڈنٹس پروگریس شوڈ بی ویری کمپریہنسو اینڈ آلسو کنٹینیوس نمبر تھرڈ دا کوالٹی آف کوشچن پیپر شوڈ بی سو امپروڈ ایز ٹو میک اٹ مور ریلائبل اینڈ ویلڈ نمبر فورتھ مور امپیس شوڈ بی گیون ٹو آبجیکٹو ٹیسٹس اینڈ پرابلم اورینٹڈ کوشچنس نمبر ففتھ دا ایگزامنیشن شوڈ بی پراپرلی اسپیسڈ آؤٹ پروویژن ہیز ٹو بی میڈ فار کنٹینیوئنگ اسسمنٹ فار اسٹوڈنٹس پرفارمنس تھرو پیریوڈیکل ٹیسٹس نمبر سکس ایگزامنیشن شوڈ بی اسٹرنگتھنڈ بائی انٹروڈکشن آف ویوا اوس